Hello and welcome to this UK and Ireland weather forecast from August 22nd looking out towards the next three days. Today the high temperatures were seen in various parts of the east of England, 25 degrees seen in a few locations and 24 in many other areas of eastern England. Low temperatures this morning, Altnahara at just 3 degrees under foggy conditions and it fell to 5 degrees in other parts of northern Scotland. It's certainly going to be less cold at night in the next few days and these are the current weather advisories, hardly anything on the board, a wind advisory for the Shetland Islands and one area we're concerned of fire weather watch for part of the Thames estuary. Still in our merch store, we're commemorating the 40 degree day that we received back on July 19th, which is still fresh in the minds of many. But in the next few days, it's certainly going to look rather cloudy and unsettled. Here's what we're expecting then throughout the rest of this evening. And you can see there it's a generally scattered picture with rain occurring along the western coast of Scotland and partly cloudy further south. Uh, temperatures are going to be quite mild overnight and generally fairly calm, a bit windy towards the northeast. Throughout Tuesday, rain will be pretty present over parts of Scotland, on and off, uh, but mostly on, uh, although there will be some breaks in the cloud in between, so it's going to be sunshine and showers with highs across Scotland of around 20 or 21 degrees Celsius there. Uh, further south, it's certainly going to be warmer, particularly further east. But in Ireland, uh, around 21 degrees is a high temperature there. It's going to be drier there as well, particularly later on in the day. Further south in England, it's going to be cloudier, but probably not as wet. There will still be some areas of sporadic rain showers, particularly the further west you are, in Wales, uh, definitely, and in southwest England. High temperatures underneath all of that, 27 degrees in East Anglia, which could also get just a little bit of rain, mostly cloudy, and I imagine it'll be feeling feeling very muggy under there as well. The best place for sunshine is probably the far southeast, where it will get to around 24. A little bit breezy at times, but generally winds are still going to remain fairly low. So let's take a look at the rest of that day as it progresses there, and then we have this new system moving through, delivering quite uh, substantial amounts of rain for parts of the Irish Sea coastlines up into the Scottish Borders region and across Cumbria there overnight, and more rain moving through further south on Wednesday um, with clearer skies to the southeast, and also behind that front. Scotland will emerge a little bit cooler, 16 or 17 degrees in the Western Isles. Uh, underneath that cloud we'll be getting maximums of around 21. The rain will move through by morning, leaving a much more overcast picture, but not so much rain later on. Ireland will then appear in the sunshine there, a little bit of scattered showers to the west, but generally a fine day, 21 degrees. Underneath the cloud and rain though is going to be northern and central England, parts of, and central Wales. Temperatures lower, but very high amounts of rain. But look at the temperatures further east, getting up to around 29 or 30 degrees again for a brief spell in parts of East Anglia, in Norfolk and Suffolk and down to London, 29 degrees Celsius there, and 27 down in Kent. Here's a look at the uh, wind profile. You can see a little uh, cyclone starting to move in from the northwest, but that massive front system moving through is not going to be particularly windy but very wet. Moving into Wednesday night into Thursday morning, that front starts to die off a little bit. Rainfall for those areas that still need it down in the southeast. Temperatures really dropping after the passage of that front with lows of 7. And coming into Thursday, you can see those high temperatures again, still pretty warm. Look how warm it is in Europe, by the way. Over 30 degrees in parts of the Netherlands and Germany. But back in the UK, temperatures looking at a high of around 23. A decent day by all accounts, with rain starting to move in from the west. That's all for today's UK and Ireland weather update. We'll be back with more probably on Wednesday or Thursday.